Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the first Saturday of the month which means it is time for me to update you on my 2020 crafty goals. I hope you'll stick around, see how I did in March, and then find out how you can help me with some of my goals. I want to say a great big welcome back to my subscribers and regular viewers and if this is the first time that you're stopping by my channel I hope that by the end of this video you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. So in 2020 I decided to join the Crafty Goals with Amalia collaboration here on YouTube. What we do each month is we come and update you on the Crafty Goals that we set in January. When you're done with my video, I hope you'll go check out all of the other collaborators, including the hostess Amalia. All of their channels are linked below. But for today, I'm going to be sharing with you how I did in March, and then I have a request for you toward the end of how you can help me reach some of my crafty goals. I won't go into too much detail because I want you to be able to get to the other collaborators, but my goals this year are focusing on craft more, spend less, share the love and grow. If you want to know more about my intentions this year, I will link my introduction video in the description box below and you can go check that out. To reach those goals that I just outlined, I have smaller goals that I want to reach each month and I have some yearly goals. One of the things I do to keep track of my monthly goals is I have my crafty tracker here and every time I do something like send a card or use my silhouette or get crafty, I color in a little shape up here and I just like the visual throughout the month seeing how I did. Now if you watched my February update, you'll notice that in March I was able to get a lot more of my crafty tracker filled up. It helps when you're kind of stuck at home. If this looks like something that interests you, I do have a free printable that you can download this for yourself and join me. That video is also linked in the description box below. Let's get to what you came for. How did I do in March? For my monthly goals, I did make at least two sheet loads of cards and I think I actually made four. And what that means is that I made sets of cards. If you're interested in finding out more about sheet load, I will have the playlist linked below. I used my silhouette at least one time. I created a shirt for my mom. I colored on at least one card. I used an old stamp set and I used an old embellishment or tool. And if you watched my four on Friday collaboration video, we did buttons and brads this month. So that definitely helped with the old embellishment part. So on my limit crafty spending, I did not limit it to $50. I got the Echo Park warehouse box, which was 50 on its own. And I bought a couple other little things and I needed to get stocked up on cardstock since I won't be able to go out and get it. So I don't know over the next couple months when we're kind of stuck inside, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that very well. On send two cards to family, I did only get one cent out and I did not give any cards to friends or coworkers. I do though hope in April to change that actually to all of these, to subscribers too. But now that I have extra time to create more cards, I also have extra time to send those out. And since I can't see any of my friends, family, or coworkers, I wanna let them know I'm thinking about them. Like I mentioned, I did send two cards to subscribers. I actually sent out six, I think it was. I usually try to send out a card to everyone who sends me a card for show us your sheet load unless I've already sent them a card in the past. Over on the right, we did do the four on Friday collab video this month, like I mentioned, linked below. I did my crafty goals collab video. I created and shared the sheet load of cards file. I left love on at least 20 YouTube videos, 10 Instagram posts, and five blog posts. I did pretty well on these this month, especially the 20 YouTube videos. I was part of Justine Hovey's Save the Crafty YouTuber Hop, and I tried to get to as many of those videos as I could, and I think I counted at least 60 that I got to, so I try to leave them all the thumbs up and meaningful comments. I kept ahead on replying to all my YouTube and Instagram comments, and I did post at least eight YouTube videos. I think I counted and it was 16. I did not have any extra monthly goals this month that I wanted to complete. Now let's go down to my yearly goals, and this is gonna be kind of where you can help me out. 
first of all, I want to do four lives total this year on YouTube. I haven't done any yet. My next one is to reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. As of March 31st in the morning, I had 9,800 subscribers. And as of the time I'm recording this video, which is Friday, April 3rd, I am about 70-ish subscribers away from 10,000. I would love, love, love it if you would consider sharing maybe a video of mine you enjoy or my entire channel with somebody crafty in your life who might enjoy it and want to subscribe. I would love to get to 10,000 subscribers before my birthday, which is Saturday, April 11th. Thanks for considering that. One thing I have already done for my yearly goals is I got two months ahead on my sheet load files and I did a collaboration call. Those collaborators actually started in March and it was so awesome to see how everybody used the sheet load of cards. I do hope that you'll check those videos out. And then finally, I have another yearly goal, and this is on Instagram. Here's another spot where you can help me out. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I am at Call Me Crafty Al. I would love it if you would go over there and follow me. I would like to reach 800, and as of March 31st in the morning, I was at 644. I hope you enjoyed my little crafty goals update. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you ever want to play along and update us on how you're doing, make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag crafty goals with Amalia. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.